This one, this one lets you, the left button lets you like view the real world, right? Is it easy for you to get to the app you want? I, I like I can't get above a certain place. Like this is this is very frustrating. Digital. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Okay, so you see you're on the right side of it, right? A few moments later. All right. Please remember that nothing we say here should be taken as personal advice. The conversation is for entertainment purposes only. If you have questions about your financial situation, please talk to a licensed financial advisor. All right, welcome to the. First episode uh, of Future Future Money. <laughs> future Future Money. <laughs> where we talk about the investments of the real future. Where money doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> where we're, we're buying digital goods and services. Now, uh, we are both uh, in the vision pros today. Yeah. So we are currently seeing both the room <laughs> as well as yeah. the Apple interface yeah. as we're talking. Yeah. Um, I mean, we it, probably look very stupid. It looks ridiculous, <laughs> I'm sure. But yeah. you guys know what we normally look like. So, yeah. you know, we're going to take this opportunity to to yeah. really do this episode and test this thing um, for yeah. for this podcast because it really is kind of a game-changing device. Yeah, no, and listen, we've been investors in Apple for, for many years now and a very n innovative company for 30-plus yeah. years. And I think this is the the dawn of a new era, which is spatial computing. And I think yeah. what we wanted to do is maybe browse through it a little bit and see really what the opportunities or what the potential of this device can be. Yeah. Um, so I know it's, it's just, it just came out, so there's not a lot of people that have it, but we were lucky enough to have access yeah. to two of them. Yep. Um, and it's, it's, it's actually very important to say that it's not a social product. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's not, so not in the, not in the real life yeah. Gen X social, but in right. the Gen Y and Z social, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe like I guess, really, yeah. you know, in the social media social. Yeah, type. maybe. <laughs> um, so we're kind of recording some stuff here, so I'm going to get out of here. I know what that is. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I'm here on the main screen and basically yeah. I can browse. This is like my Apple basic environment, right? All my apps are here. Yeah. So I have all my apps, I have my photos, my messages. Uh, I can make this bigger, smaller. Um, you know, and the idea here is to have kind of a bigger uh, screen. You can make this as big. So I'm going to, I'm going to, for example, open my Apple TV app here. And, uh, oh, and what's going to happen here for my Apple TV is I'm going to get basically all the Apple TV content. Let's see if we can find some immersive content. Yeah. Uh, Full disclosure, this is literally the first time I've ever worn <laughs> this thing. Um, uh, and, and with some calibrating, that, with some help from yeah. my team here. So I, I'm, so I can see here all my Apple TV stuff and I can just make this basically as if it was yeah. uh, a massive screen. I can make it like this. I'm, I'm basically movie theater here so again this is <laughs> this is we're trying this for the yeah. first time yeah. uh for you at least i've been playing with this for for days i love it uh, i'm going to show you like an app that i really love right now it's called jig uh jig space and what it is it's like a way for you to uh, recreate things so for example what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to take this and i'm going to create i'm going to actually put you don't see this AI, but i'm yeah. actually just put here a Formula One car. In oh the yeah, floor. this is cool, <laughs> right? And now what I can do is I can actually remove the parts. All right, I'm gonna give you this tire. Hold it, All please. Right. <laughs> I gotta hold it. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you can actually basically take apart this amazing Formula One car. You can see here basically the potential of something like this, where you can train people on, you know, mechanics or really anything. Uh, this is one car. You can even drive it. You can sit in it if you want. By the way, I can't see what Hatem. I can't see what Hatem is saying. So for all I know, he's just messing well, with. He? He's just messing <laughs> with me right now. So I'm just, I mean, you see it in the video later. Uh, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say I'm gonna do some heart surgery right now. There you go. So human heart. You're doing heart surgery right now? Literally. Um, so I have a human heart right here. We're basically making it as big as I can. Right, and I can turn it around right here. And now I can say this is the heart stent procedure. So this is the heart. <laughs> you over, you figure out which arteries are narrow, so which ones are restricting the blood flow, and then you kind of figure that artery out. <clears throat> and then what you do is, and it's crazy. You can kind of touch it, make it bigger. 
right? And you can see how the stent goes in. You can open it up. So imagine like being a surgeon and trying to learn how to do this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is really amazing. I'm taking your word for it. In the meantime, I'm browsing some stuff on my side yeah. to see if there's other stuff so, I can share with them. There's something there with Megan go. the Stallion here. I mean, no. Uh, there you go. I did just heart surgery right now. How amazing! Is Congrats. This? Are you Congrats. are you qualified to do this? I just want to make clear. Yeah. I'm gonna do. Let's see if. Uh, yo, I'm your boy T Pain. Uh, you go, you go, yeah. No, uh, look at this. Is now I have a Maze VR concerts here, <laughs> okay. and apparently they're okay with letting me view this. Hard stent? Oh. Yeah. Try Maybe I want to... No, you already did that one. Let's do something else. I'm going to do Mars Insight. Oh, that's pretty cool. Too. Let's do the that. Mars one. Okay, guys. We're going to go to Mars right now. Look to where you want the jig to, want jig to appear. Um, Put on the floor. Let's do it right here. Whoa. Whoa, right? That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Actually, okay. Uh, NASA's Insight. What do I... Do? Oh, I can just move pieces here. I'm gonna put this over here. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just basically. You can it. use the arrows too. Like I'm using Lego, right? I'm playing Lego right now, basically. I'm just gonna put stuff. Woo! Guys, this is Minority Report over here. It really is. You know, like it really is. So we're gonna talk. Like well, obviously, right now we're messing around just so you, you know, for fun and kind of show you guys what some of the yeah. ideas that you can do with this stuff are. But we're gonna actually talk about like real use cases for. Apple Vision Pro, yep. um, what it means for Apple's ecosystem, and then the, the, the words, the two letters and words that everybody <laughs> loves so much that everybody wants to talk about, uh, AI and what that means for Apple yeah. and the Vision Pro. So this is cool. I'm going to just get out of here. Like, this jig thing is pretty cool. Like, yeah. again, there's a lot of different things you can do here. But look how easy I can get this now. I yeah. mean, man. You know this this eye tracking okay, is insane, stop. right? So you're actually, it's so good. You're actually basically able to okay, point to things just by looking at them and pinching your fingers, which is it's pretty uh, awesome. Yeah. All right. So I untracked. I, I stopped recording. All right. All so right. Welcome to Future Money. <laughs> Uh, oh, the future of future money. They, welcome <laughs> to the past future money. Yeah, which is not taking place inside an immersive <laughs> Vision Pro experience. Yeah, yeah. This is a, have, that uh, was the Apple. That was Future Money 2040. <laughs> and this is Future Money 2024. What year? Are we? Yeah, 2024. <laughs> uh, now, welcome to Future Money, where we where we wear the investments. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would make us money. Make us money. And surely the Vision Pro, I think, is is one of those things. Uh, obviously, yeah. big fans of Apple here, been investors for man as long as I remember. Yeah. And we have two Vision Pro. It's Pros like an here. Apple store over here. Right. Like, it's like <laughs> <laughs> we have like ten thousand yeah. dollars of Apple yeah. <laughs> devices right here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we wanted to kind of today talk a little bit about this Vision Pro and and, yeah. and really what's what's the opportunities or put the potential for 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 a device like this. Yeah. After trying it, I know you tried it for the first time today. Yeah. I've had mine for a couple. Few yeah. Day, a couple Very of important. It needs to be calibrated correctly. <laughs> we learned that and we tried. And it was a, actually a frustrating experience in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> but the second I calibrated it correctly, um, I mean, it, it is kind of amazing. Like it's it, it's almost better that yeah. it, it was hard for me so, at so first. So what do you what did yeah. you feel like? What what happened? So we so put this this goggles on. Which I put it on like and they're heavy, right? So they kind of like I definitely mm. felt it on my nose and stuff, yeah. but it wasn't calibrated to my face exactly. Yeah. So. It's, it's all, for those who don't know, it's all eye tracking, mm -hmm. right? So it tracks the movement of your eyes and that's essentially the cursor yeah. of where you go. So it's, it's amazing, right? So you have these goggles basically, yeah. right? And then you put your eyes here and the cursor, which, what used to be a cursor, yeah. you can actually take all this apart, but really what used to be the person is, is just looks at your eye movement yeah. and how that's how you select things basically yeah which is really fascinating yeah. how awesome that is because it's almost native it's just like how we kind of interact with the real world where you look yeah. with our eyes and and really don't sure. have to you know use any kind of yeah. you know remotes or anything like that per for se, sure you know? and it lets you like have both hands free to do things yeah. and again at first it was it was frustrating because i was like this is not working for me yeah and then the second i calibrated you know it was like just a breeze so it almost was it was better because i got to see the difference when it doesn't work yeah. and when it did work right i was like oh man this is really good and, and listen i had yeah. the oculus i had a lot of vr 
devices yeah. before. This is just a game changer because one, I think it's it's just a lot easier to navigate. Yeah, like it's it's just it's just very intuitive, just like anything yeah. that Apple makes. And right. then two is is you know you're into like uh, you know like almost like your MacBook, so it's an easy yeah. environment where you know what's going on. You just have to select the yeah. apps and use them, and you just create like a massive screen that you can really use. I mean, anything. everywhere, like yeah. you can create like right. If your desktop is your entire field of vision. Correct. Right. Like that's, that to me is, is awesome. And, and you know, the problem with Oculus, the problem with all these VR headsets, regardless of the computing power, which obviously Apple's is significantly yeah. higher is frankly what Apple has always been best at. And it's this integration, right? right? Hardware, Between, software, right? Right. The, the, the fact that it's just iOS, like that's yeah. what we're doing here. Like it's not a new platform. Yeah. It's not, it, everything works exactly as you would expect your iPhone and your yeah. Mac and your thing to work. I think to take it one step further, it's called the Vision Pro, it's not called the VR device. Which Correct. Me, the reason it being is you actually can see what's around you. Yeah. So you're not, you're, you're immersed, but you're not co completely detached yeah. from the world and you around can be. you. You can be completely can immersed be. in your thing, yeah. or you can, I was kind of joking, right? Cause you know, I had like the thing up and I could see Alex, Yeah. right? Except I'm trying to walk to him, but your brain is like, there's an object in the way. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> and you're like, no, Which no, it's just Alex. a digital, it's just a digital. No, no, it's like, because the screen was up, uh, like the settings menu was up. Uh, okay. And it's like, like <laughs> I, I, I know wall. it's digital. And I'm like, but your brain is still telling you like, Stop walking into this object. <laughs> and you, if that's how good it is. I man. literally was like, I had to like, kind of like duck into it and be like, is this, am I okay? Can I get through this barrier here? <laughs> uh, well, listen, it's, it's, uh, you, you'll see some of the footage and obviously I think I encourage everyone to go out there and try it out. This is a first generation product. It's Correct. definitely not perfect. And it's definitely you, not for mass consumer yet. Yeah, but you can see where things are going, for right? Sure. I think I think we don't have enough apps just yet. So, yeah. you know, we, we played with this. Uh, but 100,000 already, they said. More than that, 200,000. 200,000 yeah, every week yeah, it changes. Yeah. Like, and, that's, and think about it, right? Like this is the beauty of iOS, yeah. right? Like, the the system is already there. You're yeah. just building a new level, basically, yeah. to this to this building. So, what do you say to the detractors or people say this is a novelty product? It's not going to move uh, the needle. Look, this is a, it doesn't move the needle today. Yeah, but we have to think about this five years from now. Yeah, like even Future when, money. when the <laughs> right when the iPhone came out, right, they sold a few million yeah. units. And there was right. no apps. And it really. was a game changing device. And there were no apps. The right. App Store wasn't even created yet. Right. And and nobody knew that Apple would be selling 200 million devices a year. A year. <laughs> yeah. Like it's crazy. A billion connected devices for Apple. Like, like if you think about that. Yeah. It, it's, it's just it's mind boggling. So yeah, the detractors. Listen, it's not perfect. Like you said, right. it's heavy. I think that's the big. Yeah. That's the big thing that it's going to get people yeah. to like. You can't put it on for more than an hour. Yeah. No, it's I, heavy. I, I tried to watch an MLS yeah. game, and you can't yeah. really put it on for yeah. the whole game. So the next iterations, I'm sure they're going to be like different versions of this. I think you and I were talking about this, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's it's kind of funny if you guys could see that like the little battery yeah. pad and, and the little Apple logo, and it looks like very the, much like the original iPhone. And I, and I, I wonder if they actually purposely, of course yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. They purposefully designed it that way to almost like subtly remind us that guys, this is generation one. <laughs> that's exactly um, it. And they're very subtle in yeah, that way. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. And, and we were talking about, you know, and people are going, okay, well, as it becomes better, does it cannibalize the iPhone? And I don't think, I think no. I think eventually these become smaller. Yeah. And this iPhone is what becomes your computer. The brain. The brain behind it, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and maybe version three or four or whatever version it is. Yeah. Um, and that's when I think when, when that happens... Yeah. The, the, the computing aspect of this, the fact that we're able to, right? Like we spend most of our time in, in right. cyberspace right. already. Right, right, right. So why not just create a system where your entire field of vision is yeah. your office? And I don't, I don't think this is a product that you'd be wearing around no. for right now, no. at least for a while. I think this is just when you're ready to use it for whatever reason you need to use it. Right. Training, I think we talked about like the use case, training. Yeah, but think about um, how much they, like, okay, think about our job, right? Yeah. How much of your day do you spend on, a, on Zoom? A lot. Just, just Zoom, forget like email and all yeah, that. Yeah, a lot. Okay, so 
why wouldn't I use this instead of Zoom? Sure. Where I could literally, rather I than having three screens, I could literally, while I'm talking to you on Zoom, I could actually do other tasks yeah. during, I could have a whiteboard where I show you things. Yeah. I can yep. I can pull up other apps on, like it, it, it's a, like to me, we spend so much of our time, and, and I kind of joke about this, like I have clients who live down the street right. who literally don't come into the office <laughs> because it's yeah. much easier for them to just jump right. on a Zoom call. Yeah, and I think that's exactly it, right? Like our us sitting in front of a computer and just like using a yeah. keyboard to type all day long, is just it's, not a human kind of correct. native way yeah. of, 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 of being. Yeah. So this is like really brings the real world, the way that we usually do things. And what um, what's your, like my biggest, thing right when we sit on a zoom calls also right is it's it's great because you're you know you can oh. talk to somebody but it's it's number one it's very two-dimensional right and right like when i, I you're kind of like me what we're very like yeah. energetic like bubbly yeah, you people. Don't, it doesn't come through you can't do that and you're just kind of sitting at a no. desk right yeah. versus the vision pro i can put it on i can walk around i can be animated yeah. like my clients could get yeah. a better idea of who like what the interaction that's actually happening uh -huh. versus like me yep. 100% and yeah. this is kind of where we're going right so yeah. again one year one one use case and there is millions of them i think right. like once you once you kind of see what what's what's put, what's possible yeah. and once people start developing and this is really the beauty of apple is they Correct. build a platform and they allow people to develop for it right, right. so you're going to start seeing all kinds of different apps all kind of different use cases right um i think the killer apps will probably be sports Correct. media and we're thinking right? Right, we're thinking Apple, right? Why is Apple now is, is vi like more of a software company than it used to be, right? Now you start thinking about a Vision Pro and yes, it's $3,500. Right. And yes, if they sell a million, it doesn't move the needle at right. Apple, that's true. Yeah. But if it's 5 million, if it's 10 million, and each one of those uh -huh. now has people paying for the apps, yep. right? Like, like there's the app more store. app store purchases yeah. now. Apple gets 30% of yeah. whatever you purchase, right? And I'm sure as an immersive version, the right? app store does $50 billion in revenue. Right. <laughs> it's bigger than most companies, companies on the yeah. planet. Just the app right? store. So if you think about the idea right now, I can get, I don't know, let's say ESPN is a standalone ESPN plus, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. I get it through the app store. Apple gets 30%. Yep. Yeah. Now, how much does that cost me? Well, how much oh. is an immersive one? Right. Maybe it's, maybe it's instead of, Ten dollars. I mean, they're already getting a bunch of push. I don't know, getting a bunch of pushback for that thirty percent. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, you know, I've been hearing about that pushback for five years now. <laughs> yeah. And but but here's the so here's the beauty, right? Uh -huh. You have a new platform yeah. that no one has yet. Mm -hmm. How are you going to argue? that you don't want to pay Apple 30% to get on this thing oh, for where sure. nobody else competes no. now. Listen, I think you've you've heard the news. Google doesn't want to be on there. Yeah. Netflix isn't being there yet. YouTube is not on there. Except and when I, everybody's on there. And that's exactly <laughs> it. Like they're waiting for adoption and yeah. how was, was the reaction? And I think the reaction has been so positive so far yeah. from the device. And I think and of Netflix, right? They're they're the ones that have had, like they're, they've been the ep in this epic struggle right. against Apple. They went the roundabout way. Sure. But now Netflix charges, what is it, like 20 bucks a month yep. now? I don't mm -hmm. know what that I can't remember the yeah. tiers in it because every other month every other seen, month yeah. it changes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but now imagine, right? So so Apple charges 30% and Netflix has a problem with that. Yeah. But let's say Apple goes, okay, well we have an immersive one and, and why don't you charge 30 bucks a month? And yeah. I would charge I would pay 30 bucks for an immersive Netflix. Right. right. Now Apple gets their cut, Netflix well, gets their cut. We just the problem is we need content, immersive content. But this so is yeah. my but this is my point. So if Netflix starts to get to the point where Apple goes, look, we can charge a premium yeah. and we're the only game in town here. Right. No, and that's kinda of what Apple right. does, right? Like it's Correct. you build this you build the ecosystem. You build it, they will come. And you own it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? So So I think I think it's it's hugely beneficial. So, so moving that to an investment standpoint, like, yeah. you know, I think Apple is, we'll talk a little bit about the markets and earnings and stuff yeah. like that. Um, but, you know, Apple has been, it's been basically kind of behind yeah. in this AI, AI stuff, mm -hmm. even though there's a lot of AI in this pro. Like you can tell, like the eye tracking and all that stuff, that is only possible if you're using massive amount of computing and massive amounts sure. of AI, right? Uh, but the, the stock hasn't really been doing that well. There's a lot of negativity around it. Um, 
you and I were running some numbers right on. Let's let's talk yeah. about that. Yeah, that was, yeah. You know. So yes, Apple has been. It, I think it's clear now, right? So so we started we started with the Magnificent Seven. Yeah. Like we were down. We went down to the to the Super what Six. Are, or, on, what are the yeah. Magnificent Seven? So the that's Magnificent true. Seven was from last year, right? Every year we get a new like moniker, but <laughs> last year was the the top seven companies in the yeah. S and P yeah. tech companies yeah. that basically account now for thirty percent of the overall S and P. More than that, I think. I think it's thir- roughly yeah. thirty, yeah. Maybe, somewhere around there. But it's it's Microsoft, Apple, uh, now Nvidia, Google, Google Amazon, uh, Tesla. Tesla was part of the Mag Seven, yeah. and, and Meta. Oh, Meta, yeah, Meta. Meta. Facebook, yeah, right, yeah. And now Tesla's kind of been on a downtrend, so apparently they've been kicked out. Like <laughs> it's like the S and P five hundred, right? If you perform perform poorly enough, yeah. you get kicked out. So the yeah. Mag Seven is Tesla now Tesla isn't a timeout. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've heard the Super Six. I've heard the Significant Six. Um, um, but now that's no. that's what we're down to. But now Apple and no. and is now like also underperforming. So yeah. now people and Google. Google. So now they're basically going to the four. They're going yeah. to like the. Th- yeah. yeah, and it's you know I think we did an episode about these two and how important they have been on the S and P five hundred or the returns from the market. Yeah, but I think right now what we're seeing is investors in general are saying, okay, Apple has been kind of lagging on the AI yeah. kind of wave. Correct. Apple has always been late to anything, right? right. They just want to perfect it before they come to the market. And also they're yeah. responsible, right? I think there is a the lot of trust issues around uh, yeah. AI. Yeah, for and, sure. And, but I think what, what we're going to see is we're going to see with the Vision Pro now out, we're going to probably see some kind of foundation, foundational model, some kind of yeah. like, you know, GPT like Apple yeah. thing coming out. And let, yeah. let's, let's run those two yeah, numbers because yeah. that's so, nice to me. So yeah, it, it really is. So just, just for some context, Right, you could do GPT or Gemini from Google yeah. for free if you want to. Right, you just go to their sites, and then they each have both ChatGPT and Gemini and Google, as well as Microsoft's Copilot. Yeah. They all have premium versions that are twenty bucks a month. Yeah, the the ones that like have live data, yeah. like the the ones that yeah. you want. Basically. Very big. It's like a thousand times computing power Correct. and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Um, so think of it as your if, personal assistant. Basically. Correct. Yeah. If Apple does that and they charge twenty dollars a month like the rest of them right. do. Apple sells roughly two hundred million iPhones. units I- iPhone units yep. a year. Yep. Okay. So if you say, you know let's do twenty percent. Twenty percent of that. Okay. Forty right, million. Forty million people. Yeah. Who will then pay twenty dollars a month. That's whew. and that's eight hundred million a month. Eight hundred million a month, right? What do we Times say? twelve? Yeah. That's and 10 so billion. that's $10 billion in revenue, basically, right there. At mar- margins of what, 70, 80%? 80%, 80% margin. So, so let's call it 70. Let's be conservative. So this is $8 billion in profits. Yeah, 7 $8 billion in profits. That's just insane. Right? And yeah. they haven't even, like, that's one product. Yeah. Right? They haven't, again, we haven't really done this for the Vision Pro right. or, like... Right. So this is the moat. This is how, like important the ecosystem is if apple does something that is you know and this is why i think we're saying this is because this is why you don't trade apple you own the stock it's just you know it's it's, they're just too it's just too important in our lives i have fifteen thousand photos and videos in my ecosystem i'm not going to move into correct and i know there are people like like the the argument of like android versus apple like you made your choice already like by this point we don't need to have that argument we know some people prefer android yeah some people prefer apple but if what is very clear is that if you're in the apple ecosystem you do not leave it like the, it's yeah. like ninety percent retention or something. Yeah, it's nuts. So yeah, it's nuts. so you, you add another thing, right? It's like we t- it's like stickiness, right? Yeah. It keeps you in this system. Yeah. The more products they add, mm-hmm. the less likely you are to leave, right? Yeah. And now they can start charging you as like, oh, and you have iCloud now. <laughs> so now you know you could do the family bundle, well, yeah, I have all, it. like, like thirty eight dollars <laughs> yeah. a month, and yeah. you could get all these services. Which I realized I was paying as much for the wall street journal subscription as the entire <laughs> apple news thing before yeah. i changed it i was like wait Why i can get I? all of the things and, and instead the, of just the wall street journal yeah yeah um and so you you know you add this and you know my, my thing has always been the everything bundle to mm-hmm. me is like the holy grail is like if you just give people the everything bundle i is a very value driven uh, no, no, it's, it's not, it's not value I'm, <laughs> I probably spend more money at Apple than most people. It's not a value. Like it's the idea that like 
I pay Apple this X amount of dollars mm -hmm. and I get access to all their stuff. Oh, it's genius. It really is genius. You know? yeah. So, yeah. but maybe, and, and they have been inching towards that over time, right? Yeah. They started with iCloud and then it went to, you know, music and then they went to like the, the, the yeah. family plan and then it went to the Apple One yeah. and then it's an Apple One like premium version. Yeah. And then uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Apple TV Plus, Correct. all those things. So, so they have yeah. all these different versions of all this stuff now. All of which are meant to keep you within Correct. the ecosystem. Correct. That's, a, that's as simple yeah. as that. Yep. So let's uh, let's shift gears a little bit. I mean, we, we obviously all gag over Apple, you know why, but let's shift gears a little bit. Let's talk yeah. about this market. Market's on fire. Uh, I think Bitcoin yeah. is at $68,000. we do a live quote? Let's do a live, <laughs> live Bitcoin quote. quote. Hang oh, on. it is, because it doesn't, doesn't yeah, close. Markets don't close. <laughs> yeah. Don't you love that? Yeah. People are telling you what the quote, yeah. Uh, yeah. what the Bitcoin. Uh, I think it's an all-time high, basically. Let's see. Um, the the all-time, I think we topped it at 69000 Oh, wow. Okay. On Bitcoin. Yeah. So, and so basically... I will associate Bitcoin with basically risk on, right? So 68,484. Okay, so risk we're getting close, guys. What's the all time high? 69? I believe it was 69,000. Let me yeah. I'll give you. So very close. Um, this is not us advocating for Bitcoin. Correct. But rather just kind of a, a, a really a, a corollary to taking more risk, right? I think I think right. uh, we have seen over the last few years Bitcoin becoming like a really kind of synonym with whenever there is a risk on appetite yeah. out there. Bitcoin. It's the ultimate risk asset. Yeah, exactly. Because right? ask most people what Bitcoin is and they'll be like, it's a currency. <laughs> <laughs> you do uh, stuff no, with it. No. Things and you transfer stuff that things. Stuff we know, yeah. 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 Right. So it's definitely, uh, yeah. it's a marker of yeah. risk. Yeah. Um, and and, and it's, it's animal spirits as we yeah. call it, right? And back think, in the market. I think We'll, we'll have we'll have a, a crypto slash blockchain. Um, yeah, maybe uh, we'll do that next it, month. Yeah, yeah, next month. Yeah, yeah, just to kind of talk about some of that stuff there. That's exciting, to really, to kind of talk through because I think it all works with the ecosystem of Web three. Uh, see, see, uh, future money circa twenty twenty one. Yeah, for these uh, exactly. <laughs> are, we, are we going back? We're going backwards, man. <laughs> life is a, you know it's the circle of life. I feel like the cycles are shorter. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. everything moves fast today, yeah. right? It's all the speed of information yeah. creates yeah. you know more yeah. uh, quick ups and quick downs yeah but i think going back to what's going on right the the we just finished earning season yep. right and at the end of the day stock markets go up because earnings go up yeah. right company earnings are basically what companies are doing and we America has been very resilient. Like mm -hmm. we have seen, you know, earnings were kind of bottomed out Q1 of last year yeah. and then it kind of came back up and we had a po another positive earnings season despite yeah. the inflation, despite mm -hmm. the labor market that's super tight, despite interest rates being high and all that. America seemed to really kind of really yeah. deliver, right? Yes, but. Yes, but. <laughs> <laughs> all the earnings came from the MAG7. Or the, the, the Super Six, I should say, not the Mag Seven. Yeah, uh, the Super Six. So, so that means Tesla is chopped out of the Mag Seven because yeah. they are not growing their earnings. Yeah, right it's now. it's really amazing. How, I mean, we talked about this last 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 uh, episode. Is how big these companies have become yeah. and how much money they're just printing yeah. money, right? It's crazy. Right? You know. So the overall, if you count, if you discount those six companies, right, right. So four hundred ninety four other companies wow, in the okay. S and P. Yeah. The return, the year over year earnings is actually negative. Wow. Negative four and a half percent as of right now. There's still a few more companies, but basically we're done with earnings. Yeah. So you got to um, own, you got to own these six companies. You got to own the six companies. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and with them, so like these six companies were, were up over 9% year yeah. over year. And I think the blended was like something like five we have half. a four yeah. and a half, five percent. Yeah. yeah. Um, five percent yeah. or so. But uh, earnings I, growth. Yeah. I think. But what's driving all this earnings growth is really spending into this AI. Correct. So there's a new wave. You know, this is how markets work. Well, some of it, right? Yeah. Some companies that didn't grow earnings because they're spending a lot. Yeah, that's changing <laughs> a little bit. That's yeah. changing a little bit for sure. But I think, yeah, being efficient and being really um, stringent with your spending and, yeah. and, and really kind of managing your cash flows properly has been 
really These important. companies are doing it, like yeah. Google, Meta, like even Apple now has, is laying people off. Um, yep. And Apple has been, you know, not the company that's laid yep. off a bunch of people like the it's other the ones. It's the year of efficiency, right? Yeah. Like, and I think that's how capitalism works, right? Yeah. Uh, but I think more importantly, this new AI wave is real, right? Yeah, and I think sure. that started the new cycle, new spending cycle. And you hear bubble, blah, 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 all over the place. Yeah. But the reality is we're seeing a lot of companies spending a ton of money to, yeah. to build these systems because they are making companies more sure. efficient, right? Yeah, I mean, you can have a short-term like over exuberance without being a bubble 100 percent, right like yep. on the short term we don't really know we haven't even seen the start of how this like other than nvidia we're gonna leave them to the side because sure. they're the ones cashing in on everything sure. right now right now right but we don't know how much money microsoft and google and apple yep. are gonna make after this initial investment yeah like how many billions well listen we're seeing like for example companies like meta their product was basically advertising yes. is becoming a lot more efficient and effective yeah. because of the deployment of AI tools. Except that Google is not getting that benefit of the doubt. Google's Google, getting the opposite Google, problem. Google is, is a different story, right? Google is, is, you know, I think, listen, Google has the most amount of data out of anybody Correct. out there, right? But I think Google was too late to the AI game because yeah. they wanted to be prudent because it is because they're very big and, and, and now they just keep messing up. Yeah, you know you're not. I know you're not a football fan. Our <laughs> football, not yours. Uh, um, uh, the real uh, football, but, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this is America. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but but you know I keep saying they keep doing the false start like they keep moving before they're supposed to. One hundred percent. And then they keep fucking up. And they keep getting penalties. Like the yeah. market keeps penalizing, throwing flags every time. Yeah, I would not count Google though, man. No, like, no, you no. Know, and they're also by far the most valuable but the, the fear the true fear with google is is i don't even think it's the fear that the ai like that they're not going to get you know llm right yeah. their large language model and the you know chat stuff yeah. i think the fear is what percent of google's business goes away yeah because ai is quote crawling or yeah. searching the internet for us yeah and that's that's a legitimate a legit concern a legitimate concern right yeah. google's business like as much as google has docs and youtube and all those things yeah. 80% of Google's it's all, business yeah. is, is, is all search. It's search, yeah. Search, right? And so even if, through YouTube. Right, right like, exactly. So if AI starts can, uh, cannibalizing the search yeah. engine for Google, then that's a, that's a legitimate. And they Correct. They, they don't want to obviously hurt that that big mode that they have. Uh, but I think I think Google will figure it out. There's that's two the, things that happen, and I'm going to throw another history thing here because uh, I know you, don't, you know I love to do that, yeah, right? So. They, no, they start, you know, <laughs> this, this, there's this thing, right, that they say that, that for some reason men think about the Roman Empire all the time. So we're going to have a Roman Empire <laughs> I thing I can't believe you went there. Dude, I told totally, that, that this was like a, this is an internet thing, by the way. This is not back to scientific data or anything. <laughs> Thank TikTok or whoever started this. But no, like there was, a, there's like a point where like Rome, for example, is it was a power because it, it was an offensive player. Sure. Like it, 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 it always it, it conquered and it attacked and it like you didn't mess with Rome. You didn't come to Rome. Sure. And they, they say that when Rome started building up all these defenses, right. that that's when kind of the, the, the gradual sure. decline started happening. So does Google become the Rome that starts building walls all around it to try to defense its position? Right. Or does it start attacking yeah. and really get this thing done? And if you if you start attacking too late, that's yep. it, the barbarians at the gates, like, you know, yep. like they're already- and, and that's the story of technology, right? Like right. if you if you don't innovate, someone else is gonna come, gonna and, come and, and, you know, out innovate you, you know, and, yeah. and it, I, don't, I don't care how big you are, no, I mean this happened to to Microsoft in the in the in the early two thousands, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, what I mean they tried to protect their For business, sure. and you know Google Doc came in and like look at that, you know. Yeah. So so I think that's that's the reality is yeah uh, we we will see this, and I think Google is at a point of you know inflection point, right? They have to do yeah. something and they have to show us that they can execute. But they've they've I mean Sergey's back, uh, they yeah, both both the thunders are back. I feel um, like they need the founders there, correct? Right? Because there's again, if you're an ops guy, yeah, it's a little different. And I think Tim Cook is probably the exception to the rule, right? Um, but but in reality, like 
Meta has been successful because Zuckerberg is really just like he grew he up. He went all in on he this learned. thing. Yeah, he for learned. sure. Like yeah. he made a mistake. He owned it. We don't like you know we don't like Zuckerberg. We don't like Facebook in general. I'm not a big fan of the stuff they do. Mm -hmm. But I do. You do have to give credit where credit is due. 100%. Like he said, my bad. I'm gonna clean it up. Mm -hmm. And they did. And and if you invested in Meta, you made amazing returns on this turnaround right. story that they had. Well, I say turnaround. Like it's not like they were in the dumps. Like but. But you know that people now go okay. This mm -hmm. they are legit, legit mm -hmm. player mm -hmm. uh, in this space and in AI and all mm -hmm. this kind of stuff. And yeah, AI will help. AI will help Amazon. AI will help all these companies. We and again, we don't even know that stage one. We don't know where. So right, it starts with hardware. Yeah, moves to software. Moves yeah, to services. And then applications. And applications. Services, yeah. Right? So we don't know Mel what the next medical Netflix. healthcare. Yeah. Like like think about healthcare spending. I just learned AI. how to how to do you heart, just did heart surgery. surgery right now. I mean, come on. I mean, dude. basically, I had Sam just Finance, became dude. a heart sur surgeon <laughs> in this show. No, so you guys are no, all part no of history. No disrespect to all my yeah. friends who are who cardiologists. Are <laughs> now, you guys are <laughs> part of history. For Fifteen years. That Hatem is now a, a qualified heart surgeon. So if you uh, any uh, any of your uh, heart, healthcare uh, heart needs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll we'll leave it there. Right? We'll leave it there. Yeah, Please again. go check out the Vision Pro. It's yeah. a really amazing uh, device. Yeah. Um, Gerber Kawasaki is always at the forefront of these things, so we're sure. excited to get to try these things yeah. and and really play with them. And and, and, and it's exciting. Really, yeah. the future is exciting. And if you did, if you do look at our previous ones, where you know, I think it was the end of 2021 where we did the we wore the Oculus. Yeah, we, we recorded the Oculus. I mean. It's, it's actually kind of funny. If you guys can find that, Alex, maybe we can <laughs> post what date that was and and compare what we're looking at in the Vision Pro oh, and, yeah. and how ridiculous that cart and cartoonish versus this. the meta was. And we were excited about that one at yeah, the time. Yeah. Uh, and it was only a couple of years ago. Um, so I think I think it's 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 kind of a huge leap. And I think yeah. this is again, this is this is the new leap. Vision Pro plus AI. Yeah. Like we're, we're just at the start. I, I think you just said it, the conversion of this technology would yeah. be insane. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. All thank right. you. Thank you for listening. And uh, see you soon. See you next time. Cheers.